Hello daydreamers, welcome to Small Town Creative. Let's learn about the scatter brush today. If you want to follow along with me, you can get the source file from the link in the description. Here we have a bubble that I created and it's made up of four different objects and I've grouped them together. It's important that they're grouped together. I'm gonna shrink this down to a size that I think I'm gonna need it. With that selected, I'm gonna go over here to the brushes panel, which can be found under window brushes, and I'm gonna select new brush. Choose scatter brush and click okay. It's gonna give me all these options. Right now I'm just gonna click okay. You can see up here that a brush was created. I'm gonna come up here, select the pen tool, and create the path that I want my bubbles to follow. A few more adjustments here. Double click on this bubble to open the brush options. The default option is to have everything fixed. What that ultimately means is, do you want the brush to behave in a way that's predictable or do you want it more randomized? And for a bunch of bubbles floating around, we want something more random. So let's use the size of the scatter brush as our example. If you choose the fixed option, you have one slider. If you move that slider to the right, your shape gets bigger. If you move that slider to the left, your shape gets smaller, but all the bubbles in your line get bigger or smaller. Now, if you choose random, you have two sliders. This is where dynamics come in. Dynamics is the difference between these two settings. So you might wanna have some bubbles a little bit larger, but then have some a little bit smaller. Same thing goes with all the other settings in this. Spacing, if it's a fixed spacing, then they're all going to be equally spaced. But if it's random, maybe you want one that's gonna be a little bit more, and maybe you want the other to be a little bit less. So I've randomized the size, and I have some dynamics between them. I chose random for the spacing, but I'm really kind of happy with the spacing. Okay, now for scatter, I'm also gonna choose random. So I, I moved that slider to the left, and you can see that all my bubbles shifted to one side of my path. Now if I go to the other slider, move that to the right, some of those bubbles move back onto the other side of my path. I'm pretty happy with this first path. Now I'm gonna create another scatter brush on top of this one with different characteristics. In order to do this, I'll select this path, copy it, Control C or Command C on a Mac, and then paste it in front, which is Control F or Command F on a Mac. Okay, now we'll create another brush. So we'll select that bubble again, come up here to the brush panel, click New Brush, Scatter Brush, OK. We're gonna click OK for now. Make sure that our second brush is selected. Double click on this bubble to open the brush panel menu. Hue Shift is gonna take on the color of my stroke, which is white. If you're following along, you don't have to do this, and it's just helping me to differentiate between this bubble and the other bubbles that are right behind it. So now I'm gonna randomize the size again. I've created some dynamics between small and large bubbles. This time I've increased the spacing a little bit more and added some dynamics. With scatter, we're gonna make this random again. I move the one slider, it shifts all the bubbles to one side, and then I move the other and it shifts some of the bubbles to the other side. I want these to be a little more scattered than my first brush. I'm happy with this. Now I'll change colorization back to none. Click OK, apply to strokes, good. Now we're gonna create one more brush. This one's gonna be mostly for filler. So I'll select that one bubble again, come up to the brush panel, click new brush, scatter brush, okay. Click okay in the options. Make sure that path is selected. Command or control C for copy. Command or control F for paste in front. We'll double click on that brush we just created. And this one I randomized the size. Most of these bubbles I'm, I want to be a little bit larger. This time I'm gonna have the spacing fixed. I'll put a little more spacing than I usually would. Now I'm gonna randomize the scatter and I'm gonna increase the dynamics on that a little bit more than I also usually would. All right, now I'm very happy with this. Click OK, apply to strokes. I'm pretty happy with the way that these three brushes interact with each other. I just have a few more adjustments I wanna make. Firstly, I want some of these bubbles to go behind the letter H that I have there, and I want some of them to be on top. You can move, move them around in the layers panel to your heart's content. You can also, using the direct selection tool or A on the keyboard, you can grab the points and move the brush around. Now what if I want to remove one bubble or move one to a different location? The way to do that is to select all three of these brushes, come down to Object, Expand Appearance. Now every one of these bubbles is a separate object. 
but I can come in, I can increase the size, move them around where I want to, duplicate them. And there we go, a pretty quick but detailed analysis of the scatter brush. My channel is all about helping you survive and thrive in your creative journey. If you want to join my tribe, please click subscribe. If you like this video, please click the like button below. Click the bell if you want to be notified every time I release a video. Remember to keep doing the work that you love doing and you'll look forward to Monday. We'll see you in the next video. Feel free to check out my channel for more tips, tutorials, and career development videos.